Real quick, wanted to make a video about the logging in process when it comes to using the Qualcomm OmniTrack system here. This is an IVG unit. The same process applies across almost all of their units, but the IVG is what they're using moving forward. So of course I go to driver login, type in my user ID and password. Make sure you're active. Um, it's not even letting me select inactive right now, but sometimes it will. If you do inactive, that can mess up your logs. Hit OK to sign in. Now what pops up this screen, if you don't do this part and select one of these and hit OK, then it's not going to let you finish logging in. So make sure you do this. Don't log in, hit OK, and then think you're good to move. you got to make sure that process is done. I'm going to hit the home screen to go back out of here. One thing I would like to point out is this logs in. On the side of these, they do have USB ports, so you can plug in a keyboard. That can be nice because typing on these screens can be a little difficult. You have to push pretty hard, and sometimes you fat finger quite a bit. I'm going to go into hours of service, and I want to show you something in here. This says log update in progress. It's red. That's because it is taking time to log me in, check with the server that I type my stuff correctly, then it's got to get my logs and come back. So right now, it's probably going to say that I have all this time available right now because it actually hasn't checked with the server. So while this updates, I'm going to let this ping the server, give this a minute, and then we'll come back and I'll show you some other stuff on this log system here with you logging in. All right, it finished logging in. That process can take five minutes or so, so you got to be patient with it. If you're waiting for it, just know it's not instantaneous. So one of the first thing that pops up is unassigned driving time. And it's very frustrating. You have to deal with this, though, because if you don't, it won't let you do your log. So it shows you that you've got unassigned driving time, and it'll do it for every day that there's unassigned driving time. Fortunately, it looks like there's only one day here, so you hit next. And you need to decide if this belongs to you or it doesn't. Most of the time, it's not going to belong to you because you've logged out and they've moved it into the shop for work or whatever reasons, usually something along those lines, right? It's not you that's driven it. If I hit next, I will proceed to accept that time, but I don't want to accept it. I hit reject. Now, it's not going to let me move forward unless I type a reason. Personally, I just usually type that it's not me. And then I hit save you got to type at least four letters before it'll let you do anything. So if you're typing like NA and trying to hit next and it doesn't work, that's because you got to type at least four characters. So you see right here, if I go NA, it won't let me save. I have to do that again. Now I got four characters and I can hit save and move right along. The next thing it'll ask you to do is, it, do you want to certify your logs? Of course you need to certify your logs each day that's how you stay legal. It's part of the general form and manner requirements in the CSA. And I'm fine with that. I've, these logs are good, so I hit agree. And then it just verifies. Are you sure you want to do it? It's I could hit not ready, and that would be okay. Now, one of the reasons why I would want to do that is I might not want to certify my logs because I want to make log edits. So if you're thinking, oh, yeah, I need to make a change here, hit not ready so you can make a log edit. And I'll cover log edits in my other video here in a bit. Now I'm logged in. I've got my status screen here showing me my overall log book. If I go into my summary and all this stuff, I do have all my time because I finished my 34 hour reset. And these are my logs. That red, the, the red wording up here is gone. So you're logged in, everything's working right. If you had typed in a wrong username or password, it would have kicked you out by now and it wouldn't be showing you all this information. That's the process for logging in.